There are shoes in here that literally only exist in this room. One of ones. To actually come here is kind of like a privilege in the sneaker community. These are dope. I didn't even know Kobe had Air Force Ones. So. That was sick, right? Right now, we are headed to Project Blitz. It is a undisclosed location in LA. Project Blitz is started by my really good friend, Dre. He's like, you're OG's OG resellers. So this is kind of where most of the sneakers are held. There's just thousands and thousands of sneakers. The stuff here will blow your mind. He's got some like the biggest name shopping here, like Drake, Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner, Tyga, and like pretty much any celebrity you can name has probably been here. Oh. What up? What's up, dude? How you doing? Good, man. So this is Dre. What up? What up? Got my kombucha, daily regimen. <laughs> So now we're gonna go to the best part of Project Blitz, the vault. The vault just itself, like a tiny portion of this whole warehouse is worth between three to four million dollars. There are shoes in here that literally only exist in this room, one of ones. To actually come here is kind of like a privilege in the sneaker community. Over here we have Oregon 3s, Carhartt 4s, the Encore 4s. This is like the sample Uncle Dunk Low. Since we have a signed one, I wouldn't sell these for less than like 40,000. This is a piece of art. And this is kind of like a little homage to where you, you know, you started with this is like the all of the Yeezy stuff. It's a sample Air Max 180 that Kanye West made and like his colorways inspired by college dropout. The college dropout bear, that's like my favorite part. That's Never so released. cool. And there's literally only like maybe a couple pairs out there. These are the one of one nicknamed Ferrari Red Yeezy One sample, actually worn by Kanye. We also have the original Kanye Hirachi samples. These are ultra rare. A lot of people don't even know these exist. These actually also might be one of one. We got the Tokyos, the London SBs, Pigeons. These are actually insane. The Wu Tang Dunks. These are one of the original um, SBs to actually ever come out, so it was really, really cool. Rumor has it that this is actually Method Man's pair. He was a size 12, and his shoe somehow disappeared, and these were worn. So rumor has it that they could be Method Man's personal pair, and which adds even more value and sentiment to the shoe as well. Being a big Kobe fan, this shoe is one of my favorites. So it's a Jordan 8 in the Lakers colorway, game worn, by Kobe Bryant and actually signed by Kobe Bryant as well. And hidden down here, we actually have one of the most incredible pairs in the vault. And most sneakerheads know this colorway as the flu game. And the reason why it was called the flu game was because Michael Jordan wore this colorway the day he had the flu, but he came on the court and he played, and these will forever be known as the flu games. So it, they're pretty much priceless. So this is one where, you know, people are like, how the fuck did you get that? This one's been with me since almost the beginning. These are one of the like illest joints I've ever picked up. This is the actual shoe that MJ wore in the movie Space Jam. And I got it from somebody that basically got it from the movie set. But if you can see up close, like it still has the dust in it from like the, the baseball scene. That shoe is like in the six figure range. Oh yeah, like way into it. 